the first thing I do, of course, is remove one of the caps, uh, put it aside, and then you will use a three inch, uh, one quarter extension, also a six inch one, uh, extension, uh, drop it in there to actually remove the free hop cap. Tap it just a little bit. Once you tap it, that's gonna fall out, fall off. Then you're gonna remove the free hop, being extremely careful not to drop the springs or the, the free hop uh, tool. So, easiest way to rotate and then pull it out, making sure everything is there. All right, there's a spring in here. If you can see it, but there is a spring in there between this, and then to take this out, you can tap it and it will actually come off with the bearing. Use a brass hammer so parts not doesn't get damaged. So that's the lower bearing right there. This one slides out. So now we have this one. You can either use this, tap this one, and the bearing's gonna come off. And that's it. You clean the wheel any debris or something that gets in here. You can use soap and water if it's too dirty. Make sure you have it ready for when you're gonna reinstall the new bearings. All right, let's work on this right now. So let's start removing this. Remember there's a spring here. Use a pick to remove it and put it aside. You should have six of these and six springs. All right. All right, making sure there's nothing left in it. So now, easiest way to remove this bearings right here. In there, there is a sleeve. This sleeve moves or has some play. I don't know if you can see it. So you will tap the bearing. You kind of move it to the side. And that will give you room to tap the bearing from the opposite side up or down. Okay. Make sure you have a socket or something round that you can put under it to actually, when you tap, the bearing is going to fall off. All right, so putting this right here, I find the spot on the side, use the same six inch extension, and then try to hit it on one side, like the other side, and it'll, it'll come out very easy. That's it. Came out with the entire sleeve. That's it. Most of the time, I don't repack these bearings. I don't regrease them. They're cheap, so I'll, I'll best you can do is replace it. Right, so the same thing with the other one. On this side, you have a space so you can actually tap it. Tap it evenly. That's it. Make sure it's clean. The free hog is ready to install new bearings. 
right? Now I'm going to show you how to actually put it back together without using a specific tool. I know there are use tools out there, but I'm going to show you what you can buy cheap. And with that tool, you can actually put it back together without damaging anything. If you want to regrease, decided not to replace it or you don't have the, the budget to replace, make sure you clean it, make sure there's no debris, dirt, anything that's gonna damage the bearings. Um, get an X-Acto knife, anything that is pointy that allowed you to get into this section right here. And then you are going to pull this part, okay? Once you get this out, then you can regrease, clean, regrease, however you want to do it, okay? I'm going to show you the old school way. If you have a repack tool, that's the easiest way. You just put the bearing there, has a like a cap, you push it, and it will actually uh, get filled up with uh, the new grease. So I'm going to show you um, how to do it without a tool, so you, you guys can actually see how it's done. I'm telling you, it's going to get messy. So for you, of course, you have to wear gloves to do this. But what you're going to do is just, just put grease on one hand and then get your finger in there and try to like scoop it and then rotate so you can actually fill up the entire bearing. So once you start doing this, you're actually going to start seeing the all grease coming out from the other side. Hope you can actually see it. Okay, you can actually see the all grease coming out. All right, I'm going to finish with this and repack the bearing. I'm going to repack all of them and I'm going to come back to you guys to actually put everything together. Not with this mess. All right. Um, I went ahead and took all the bad grease um, after I did that and actually repacked this with uh, brand spanking new grease. So first thing we're going to do is just put the bearing on top. Make sure, sure you put it in. Try to present it straight enough for you to start pressing into it. I told you you're going to do this without any sophisticated tools so this is the tool that i use you can make this out of a threaded rod you can buy from home depot or lowe's whatever hardware store you have close by cut it to size once you cut that get yourself a couple of washers preferably big washers so you can drive it straight so once you get that together you can Put this here, then get your big washer. You can use a socket, you can use anything that will help you. Um, if you don't have the tape, you can actually put the, the washers there. I just put it there because sometimes I press some bigger stuff. So. If it's straight, this should go by hand. All right. Let me get you in there so you can actually see. You're actually going to feel it doesn't go anymore, so that's about it. All right. I didn't put any grease in it. Uh, I pre-grease it prior to starting the recording with some slick honey. Um, I suggest you can put some in there. Same with the sleeve, I put some grease in there. 
all right this side is a little bit more complicated what I use for this is it's an 18 socket in this case is a Craftman I put an o-ring there lubricate it so when you get this in there you make sure the o-ring is all the way in and you can preload it a little bit so you can so you make sure that it's completely straight all right same thing get this in here get your special tool got to put a name to this tool and same thing You want to make sure this is all the way in you want to tap it you can get this in there again using wood or whatever and then tap it not too hard same to this side get something flat you can use this side and then tap it so now it's time to put this together the first thing i do I'm gonna use some Humondi Tech grease. I wanna quiet this hub down a little bit. Um, so the way I do this is basically you get some greasing the pinky. And get it in there. So you don't wanna lose anywhere. And you can either use a pick like this, put it in, I don't like it, find a little bit more tedious to actually be able to put the spring in, but I'm going to show you a technique that I use. Once you get that spring in there, you get one of these with this pointing out. You're going to preload the spring like so. You can actually see it. You preload the spring and then you start rotating. Until it goes in without bending the spring. I'm going to do it again my wind off camera so load the spring in all right make sure it goes all the way in and then get one of these and preload and rotate see just make sure when you put it in springs are still there and that they're not bent One more
think this is the hard part to get the spring in there but once you get the hang of it it's gonna be pretty damn easy If you decide to use the pick, what you're gonna do is you still have to put the spring. And then with this, you have to push this down, push it this down and then put slide the the thing in i don't like it i find it more tedious to do it that way that's what that's why i don't use it all right so let me see with this angle you can actually so you reload and then rotate Load. All right, that's it. And put the free hub back in the wheel. Time to install the bearing on the wheel hub. I always, just my preference, Try to start with the free hub side. You can actually use the homemade tool that um, I showed you earlier. However, if you have one of these, make sure you build, build it long enough to take into consideration the length of the sleeve. Um, you will have to stack some sort of socket that will only put pressure on the outside of the bearing only pressure on the inside you don't want to do that um, we all know that and then also instead of a butterfly knot try to use a regular knot a hex knot that way if you need to use a, a wrench you have more leverage okay me personally I always try to use one of these so it might be the perfect time for you to purchase one of these and it's what I recommend you to use um, it goes from 30 something bucks to hundreds of dollars. The one, the kit that I have has several, several couplings for different, for different bearings. Um, also it's the same price that you will use for your stem bearing race and also for your pivot, um, bearings. If you want to use it for that, it will work perfectly. Okay. The way you use this is you basically find the coupling that works with your bearing. In this case, this is perfect for this. You'll put it there. Then you find another coupling, put it in the opposite side. And you will have to shimmy and then you tie it down you press it and it will go smoothly if it doesn't go smoothly that means the bearing has been tilted it's tilted or it isn't it's sideways all right this side is done
Now, this is perfect. This, is, this side is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm gonna tell you why. And I don't expect you to have the same setup that I have, but once you insert the sleeve, make sure you grease this, and you're ready to put this, you need to find something that goes on the outside and put pressure here. Don't put pressure on the sleeve. You need to actually create some sort of sandwich um, having contact on both bearing sides. Okay, this is the setting I have. I have this vehicle axle bearing that will actually put pressure on the outside. And then I go ahead and put this in. And on the other side, I have a single one that will actually put pressure only on the bearing, not on the sleeve, okay? And on this side, I will use one of these and the same thing. Keep an eye on the bearing, it should go in smooth. Okay, now it's time to install the free hub. So instead of using the Shimano free hub, I'm actually installing an XD driver. This has been greased, this is brand new. So the way you put this is the same way you took it out. Make sure there's an inner sleeve that aligns with the sleeve, with the hub sleeve, and then you're gonna rotate counterclockwise and it will go inside and the final step will be to install dust covers all right guys so that's how you basically put this together the free hub bearings and also the wheel hub bearings we show you how to build a homemade um, bearing press and also the proper tool that you use, which is the aftermarket uh, bearing press. If you can purchase that, that's the way to go, okay? So I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.